séance est ouverte. The meeting is called to order. La parole est à M. Makin, délégué de l'Australie. The first speaker this morning is Mr. Makin, delegate of Australia. Indications, thankfully, and in good faith. If it can be agreed that all peaceful means of settling disputes must be adopted and exhausted, and that in practice the veto will not be used to block such procedures, I am convinced that we will make a great step forward. This would remove many of the doubts which middle and smaller countries have felt regarding the acceptance of the present text. The great powers can perform a great service to the world if they demonstrate in practice that the powers given to them under the Charter will be used with restraint and in the interest of the United Nations as a whole. The Australian delegation considers that uh, the application of Article 27 in the proceedings of the Security Council in 1946 should be thoroughly examined and appropriate steps taken by this Assembly with a view to the prevention of such practices as are not in accordance with the principles and the spirit of the Charter of the United Nations. the machinery which already exists. All members have the duty to comment freely on the working of the organization, and fellow members should accept such comments as having been made in good faith with the object of serving the best interests of the organization. It is essential that all of us here assembled should do our utmost to strengthen public confidence in the United Nations. In our opinion, 